Hey guys, Hu Sheng here. Welcome to another StarCraft 2 lesson. In today's video, we're going to be doing some Zerg play. And not just any Zerg play, we're going to be doing some dirty, dirty cheeses. I'll definitely do some normal Zerg play at some point, but uh, a couple of my students have been asking for some, some builds they can use, so let's make a video here showcasing some. And if you like any of these builds, then let me know and I can do a full guide on them. So we have a Zerg player first. And I think what we'll do is just open up with a kind of fake hatch Lingolin. So what you do here is you go for a normal 16 hatch. And then, instead of droning here, you just go for your gas right away. And then we get our pool. And then we might as well drone a little bit here. Because otherwise we just get capped. On larva. And we only need three larva when this pool is done. So we make a couple drones. This should be enough to get uh, three more larvae. And so we can still make six lings immediately. Now this build's pretty nice because if he's doing any sort of cheese early on, a little bit earlier than our cheese, then we basically uh, own those pretty hard since our lings are faster and uh, since our speed is faster. Okay, let's make our lings. Get our queen and let's pull off, get our speed, and there we go. Let's get one more queen here, and we don't really want to show these links. We could send like two, just a fake scout or whatever, but um, this is also fine. So yeah, so he doesn't have any drones here yet, I sent them to the main. But I'm assuming this is standard. Let's send some of our drones down, actually. And then we're just gonna wait for speed, and then we'll go. don't have my Zerg hotkeys. Hmm. There's something I need to switch. Okay. So our speed should be done in just two seconds, and then we're going. Watch you go now. So he's gonna see it here, but he doesn't have much time to react. Shouldn't have a bait nest yet. Yeah, I don't think a wall works against this, but we'll see. Actually not going too, too bad, but yeah, we're going to break this and I don't think he's going to have enough units to hold. I think this is better if you go for uh, the ramp. You don't wall, but you put your queens here. Make some lings, make a spine back on this side. It's a much better uh, option. <laughs> GG. Okay, let's do another one. Gotta get these accounts up too. Pretty low MMR right now. Wow, 4600 is not too bad, I guess. We gotta get the Terran up. I'm gonna do a uh, Terran one soon, I think. Maybe tomorrow we'll do uh, Terran ladder, but I'll do a little bit more um, macro play probably. There's not too many good Terran cheeses actually. Okay, 
TVZ or ZBT rather. This matchup is actually kind of hard to cheese in, I think. But there, there are a couple builds we can do. There's some mid-range ones that tend to transition into macro games where you're just like pretty far ahead if they work. Um, but I'm gonna stick to cheeses that are really early on. That kind of end the game. Just because we don't have too much time right now. Um, but these these builds are definitely counterable at this level, so we might lose. Yeah, we should go for sixteen, seventeen. We require more minerals. So we will pull first. Gas. This is one of the features of um, these all-in builds is you want to saturate this gas much quicker than if you're playing a macro game. Hmm. He says, what are you up to, dirty Zerg player? <laughs> Definitely no good. Alright, let's get one set of Ling. Send him that way. Let's we get a queen. Let's get speed. We require, we require more gas. And should we get one more drone? Mm. Oh. I guess we need two sets of lings actually. More it's kind of unfortunate. We just kept them in here. Oh wow. Uh, okay, he has no base either. I guess he put it on the high ground? It's kinda weird. Let's get a roach warren. We require more minerals. So I don't think he made a reaper, so we can just move out with these lings. Let's get some overlords here preparing to make the roaches. And then we'll just stack a little bit of larva. Okay. I mean, I think that just dies, right? Okay, now this is super weird. This means he went like factory first. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. So he's gonna have really quick Hellion, but... That's actually not too good against this build. We're going Roaches, not uh, Banelings, so... Is actually probably really bad for him. Now if he if he knew what we were doing and then he went tank, I think this is probably like the biggest hard counter ever. But since he went Hellion, this is gonna be great. Okay, so we made a bunch of roaches, now we'll make Ling. Now I'm gonna put them on separate hotkeys. Just so it's a bit easier to micro. So he went. He go another factory. Super weird. Maybe he's going like blue flame or something. But yeah, he's in a lot of trouble. Oh, didn't quite get that. I wanted to deny that. We're gonna win on this side, and then we just need to defend that losing too too much over here. So. 
able to catch these hellions. Should be GG. It's really trying hard though. Oh no, is he gonna float his buildings? <laughs> Alright, guess we're doing this. Thought we were uh, above this in, in uh, Masters, but apparently not. quite have enough money there for an extractor. Okay. Whew. I he's going to drag this one out. <laughs> okay, GG. How much time do we have? Six minutes? Okay. Let's go for one more. Maybe we'll get a Protoss and I can show a Protoss cheese. That would be perfect. This game definitely got a bit chaotic. I actually thought he was still at home with his aliens. If if he was, uh, if I knew he was moving out, I could have used my my zerglings to uh, to catch them a bit earlier. That would have made it an easier game. But I think that game also looked a lot closer than it was. We were pretty much winning for sure the whole time. The only way you lose that game is if he kills all your workers, and you don't. Uh, You don't have like 50 minerals. You liked cheese. Okay, I feel like this is the same guy then, right? <laughs> Otherwise, why would he be saying that? So, I guess we gotta do a new ZVT cheese. Otherwise, it's gonna hold pretty easy. So, I don't know, what are we doing? It's actually a pretty nice later one that works in works against Terran and, and Zerg. Or sorry, Terran and Protoss. So let's do that one. There's more complications, but it's pretty strong. We require more minerals. It's also the one Alpha Star was abusing like crazy. sure we get the gas there quicker so our speed's done on time to deny some scouting and we're gonna drone a bit more with this build we're actually gonna get a third hatch as well and we don't care where it goes so I'm not sending it early So he went marine first, so I don't need any Zerg. Yeah, it's fine. Although he might bring up his barracks again. It seems like he's doing uh, the same build, right? We require more minerals. We require more minerals. So we'll see if we can kill that in time. But we're probably just gonna lose that. We require more minerals. Oh, I think I missed an overlord. So bad. There's no way I missed an overlord, right? No, I must have. Okay, yeah, so he's gonna kill that. Another one. Need another one after this as well, I guess. Let's get our roach one here. Drone up. We require more minerals. We require more minerals. I'm 
boxing a bit there, which I don't like doing, but um, my hotkeys are messed up, so I'm gonna have to do that a couple times this game. So we'll make a couple roaches here. I'm a bit under the drone, so that I want to be at. kind of funky early alien builds. So. Now kind of ironically I think this works out well for us because it makes it look like we're just defending. Oh, a lot of leg. A lot of leg. Jesus, what the hell. So how much damage you get? You got a fair bit of damage, um, but just keep in mind he's like one base. Our roaches were like a touch late. If those roaches were out a little bit faster, it would have been a super clean hold. But this is also not that bad, I don't think. Let's see, thirty. We want thirty-eight, so let's go thirty-eight. Let's counter here. And if he has any Banshee, that'd be a pretty good counter, but I don't think he does. into uh, Ravagers. And yeah, that should be GG. Gotta inject the old-fashioned way. So yeah, so there you go guys, some uh, some dirty cheeses, you guys can uh, go dominate the ladder and uh, not learn how to play macro at all. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed, have some fun, get some salty, uh, salty tears of your opponents, but of course be mannered and uh, yeah, enjoy, hope you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you in the next one.